Hi there, Professor Voza and Professor Brugler from CT Tech Biological Sciences. Today we're dissecting the frog. The frog. Hmm. That's a frog. What is a frog? Is it an animal? Oh yeah. Okay. It moves, it eats, and it ingests its food. It's an animal. It okay. doesn't do photosynthesis for sure. Okay. What, and what group of animals are we in today? Amphibians. Hmm. Amphibians are usually um, characterized by a moist skin because they use it to breathe. Right? They breathe through their skin? Yeah. That's they ridiculous. do have lungs too, but the lungs are not too great, mm. so the skin compensates. But they have, and I can feel it a little bit here, they have a backbone. What? So that makes them part of what phylum. Hmm, vertebrata? <laughs> Which is placed in the <laughs> chordates, right? <laughs> so You wouldn't know, it looks really squishy. You wouldn't think it yeah, would have but a still, backbone. I can, I can feel it has bones. It's okay. not that squishy, squishy. Um, if you wanted to eat this as is right now, could you? No, because it's in formaldehyde. Oh, that's why it stinks so bad. That <laughs> smells really Just bad. Checking. And you should be happy you don't have to smell this right now <laughs> because it's it's terrible. Um, but we do it for the love of science. There you go. Um, and the love of frogs. So it's a tetrapod. Tetra meaning four. Four what? Limbs. Okay. Yeah. Is it an arthropod? It has jointed legs. Hmm, it might be an arthropod. No, no because we said they have an exoskeleton. No, that's not an exoskeleton. No. That's too soft. Very soft. Uh, no compound eye either. So okay, no. endoskeleton then? Yep. Okay. They inside. Inside, they have vertebrae, so vertebrates, amphibians, like frogs, and okay. newts, and salamanders. Yes. Yeah. They okay. lay eggs. Ah. And these eggs have to be laid in water because they're not shelled eggs. Okay. So they're really dependent on water for mm. their breathing because the skin has to remain moist, moist and then to lay their eggs. So that's usually where you'll find them, humid environments. Okay. Um, so let's look at this frog. Oh, bilateral symmetry, we said that. Um, protostome, deuterostome? Deuterostome. Deuterostome, like all chordates. So um, salomate. Yes, they do have a coelom or a body cavity. Yep, they do. With complex organs in it. We'll see that in a minute. <laughs> All right. So, males and females are sometimes hard to um, identify, but usually the female is larger. Once again, because it needs energy to um, make eggs, so they're going to be bigger. The males are smaller, and for mating, they usually will be on the back of the female, and as she lays her eggs, he fertilizes them with uh, his sperm. So is that external fertilization? Yeah. Wow. So there's no putting the sperm inside the female here. Everything happens outside. Yeah. And I'm not too sure here, but we should be able to determine if it's a male or a female by the size of the thumb. The males usually have a thumb pad, which I don't really see here. So I would su suppose this one is a female. The thumb pad is used by the males when they will climb on the female so they can hang on to her. Oh, okay. And they stay like that for days and the poor female has to carry the male around. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, also, if we keep looking at the uh, external anatomy, we see something we've seen before in the grasshopper, which is this circular membrane. Yes. And that's what? Oh, uh, is that a nose? What is that? No, nah, the nose is right here. Oh, okay. Look, hmm. little membrane, uh, like a drum. Uh, an ear. Yeah, that's their oh, tympanum. Man. It For the grasshopper, it would be somewhere here. Right. And now it moved to the head. Wow. Okay. So there's huh. no ear like we have an ear. No, no pinna, no external structures. It's just the eardrum. Yep, that's what they have. Oh. Yeah, right. It works for them. Have you heard them sing? Rah, 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 and all those noises. <laughs> <laughs> they can hear each other very well, and they're pretty loud. Wow. Yeah. They so. must have to protect that eardrum from infection and being pierced, and oh, boy. Hmm, Sounds yeah. Sounds difficult. Yeah. I wouldn't want that. How does this thing see and eat and smell? So they eat... So they see with their eyes, they see pretty well, but the, here they're closed, and they have a little nose Okay. with nostrils nares here okay and here and they like to eat bugs 
so when they see even some frogs when they're big they can eat mouse mice wow yeah so they they kind of react to everything that moves and they try to catch it and how do they do it well they this one is a really stiff stiff frog they have to stick their tongue out and then they capture lots of their prey with their thong, tongue tongue <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna get that with their like thumb pad? <laughs> their thumb pad but i'm afraid of those teeth teeth yeah You're telling me the frogs have teeth uh, yeah i just felt the teeth and i don't want to be hurt um i <laughs> they have a sharp mouth <laughs> So, so we should stay away from frogs so they don't bite us with their sharp teeth? They usually won't bite you, but if you stick your finger inside, you never know. <laughs> so I want to pull out this tongue. They have a tongue? Yeah, look at it. Did That's the earthworm huge. have a tongue? I don't think so. No. Nah. What about the grasshopper? Do they have a tongue? No. No. What about uh, starfish? Oh, absolutely not. They don't even have a head. <laughs> so this is the first tongue we're seeing? Yes. Okay. And look at how it comes out. This, this frog is really not cooperating. Oh, yep. like this. What are you doing? Sticking her tongue out. Ew, Ew, yuck. Yuck. Oh, yuck. <laughs> so the tongue is attached in the front. What? Yeah, and it comes from the back and they stick it out and look at how it looks like a little no hand. Way. Yeah. Wait a minute, our tongue attaches in the back. Yeah, there's a touch in the front. That's ridiculous. And they can grab a prey and then bring it back. Wow. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. They don't, they don't chew much. They okay. were just swallow. They swallow? Yeah. Do you feel the teeth on both the bottom and the top jaw? Top? Yeah, they're definitely there. Mm -hmm. And bottom, no. Okay. I don't feel anything. Okay. Hmm. So, what else do they have? Or n don't have? When we look at their mouth, the roof of their mouth here, the nostrils open directly inside here. What? Their nostrils open up in their mouth? In their mouth. Where, whereas we have a separation and there's a nasal cavity that's not in direct contact with our tongue. Wow. We have the roof of the mouth, the palate, to separate wow. all that. They don't have it. Okay. They don't. So... Yeah, that means that when they swallow, they can't breathe. Wow. <laughs> um, so they can't eat something too big because they'll stop breathing. Yeah, it has to be swallowed quickly. Wow. Yep. Okay. So um, what else is there to see in here? I think we looked at all those structures. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start dissecting it. And we need to pin it because it's a bit stiff and not helping. So... So what happens if we were to kiss the frog? Would it become a prince? Depends. You have to kiss a male frog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not interested in any prince, so I'm not trying for you. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Hey, the frogs, they do metamorphosis, don't they? What does that complex word mean? You know that transformation from the larval stage to the adult form? Uh, Don't yeah. they have that little wiggly stage mm, that looks like a tadpole. fish? Tadpole. A tadpole. That's right. So that thing, look, like you said, looks like a fish, swims in the water. Hmm, so it's eating probably aquatic insects and other things in the water. Mm -hmm. And then metamorphosizes... That it is, grows a, it drops its tail. It loses its tail? And then grows legs. Wow. 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 And so the adult is up on land eating a totally different suite of prey items, but is still restricted to the water because it needs to uh, put the babies in the water and, uh, and breathe. It needs moist skin. Mm -hmm. oh, the dissection is With about the scalp to begin. Uh... What about your famous pair of scissors? I like my scissors, so I might get to it if I can't succeed with this cowbell. So I'm gently cutting the skin because I don't want to damage anything. Yeah, it's a very important point. Whenever, doing, whenever you're doing dissections, you do not want to saw through your <laughs> specimen. Or cut it like it's a steak. That's no, not happening. No, just a nice, gentle, shallow set of cuts just until the, the skin starts ripping and you can pull it back. 
because uh, the internal organs and the coelom, the body cavity, uh, you don't want to break those things. So what do we see right under that skin? Um, muscles? wow, it does look kind of like a muscular layer tissue. Yeah, mm. yeah, they have muscles. That's mm. what allows them to be such froggy and jump everywhere yeah. and move. Oh, this is a great dissection, Professor. Yeah, Rosa. I'm not quite in the middle, but <laughs> that's all right. We'll get there. So I'm gonna move the skin out of our way. That skin is kind of leathery. <laughs> Here we go. So whenever you eat frogs, say you're at a buffet and there's frogs on the buffet. I've tried, have you? What? What? <laughs> you don't eat much um, what, uh, aside from Texan yeah, meat. <laughs> what is it that you're eating? Are you eating the tongue? You're Just eating the of, legs? Yep. Yeah. That's where the meat is. Oh. That's where you have more muscles. So, oh. you know what? It tastes like chicken. Oh. To me, it tastes like a mix of chicken and fish. Oh. And uh, So, <laughs> I hear sometimes if you pick up a frog, you get warts. What's that all about? I think it's a legend. Oh, it's a legend? Because okay. I've picked up frogs. I don't you have warts. No warts? Okay. No. Right. Where does you think it comes from? I have no clue. Just checking. I think it's mostly for toads because toads have all, they don't have that smooth, smooth skin. Yeah. They look like they have lots of warts and they're mm -hmm. nasty. But I don't think they... Yeah, maybe a myth. Yeah. Don't give them a bad reputation. Okay. They didn't do anything to you. Okay. <laughs> so here I'm cutting some muscle. Um, and then right below, I can feel bone already. Wow. Oh, that's right. You said this is a vertebrate. It's yeah. got an internal skeleton and a backbone. Right. So. That looks like some thick muscle here there. Here I'm by the abdomen, which is easy to open first because there's no bone. Ooh, looks like there's some spaghetti inside. It's pretty clean inside. I don't see it. It's not bloody or anything. Oops. There's the bone. I'm gonna keep opening the abdomen. Nice. Wow, this is a fantastic dissection. <laughs> yeah, I hope I get a good grade. <laughs> Hopefully you have a nice professor. <laughs> Who can appreciate the work. That's right. All right, so I opened the rib cage. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just opened and separated the ribs. It's hard to see, but this is bone and muscles that I'm holding on to. I'm gonna do the other side, okay. moving a little bit here. Oh, it's like we're opening up Pandora's box here. There's a <laughs> lot of stuff in there. There's a lot to look at. It kind of looks like a little bit of macaroni and cheese. Mmm. It doesn't smell like it, though. <laughs> yep, there's a lot of yellow in there. Wow. Should we start explaining what those yellow things are? Please, go ahead. All right, those yellow mac and cheese noodles, <laughs> which are taking up a significant amount of room in the abdomen, are what we call fat bodies. These are used for a number of things, uh, but, but their sole purpose is, is ener uh, energy storage. So whether you're growing, you're metamorphosizing, you're reproducing, or you're hibernating, frogs will use these fat bodies to get energy. Yep. So frogs hibernate? You know, I've seen them sometimes. It's not in the winter when it's a dry season in a tropical area. Uh -huh. um, they will just bury themselves in the mud and just stay there for a month. Wow. And without eating or anything. So wow. I guess that's their hibernation. Okay. But I also heard that some frogs here in the colder regions, they can freeze. Oh, wow. And then thaw and be perfectly fine. Wow. And they do all that in the soil always or in a little tree trunk. They want to protect themselves. But wow. Yeah. So what do we see? Um, hmm. Trying to clean up all that. Here. Are you pulling away the fat bodies? What are you pulling <laughs> Some away of it. Here? Mostly connective tissue, which okay. is something we'll see soon. So connective tissue is that clear 
membrane, brain, yeah. membrane tissue mm -hmm. that holds everything together. Okay. So I'm just cleaning up. And as you see here, you have just everything in one big compartment. So there was a rib cage, we opened it, but then there's no separation really between the thorax and the, and the abdomen inside because they don't have a diaphragm. A diaphragm is a muscle that you have that you use to breathe, it's right under your lungs and they don't have it. And this diaphragm allows you to expand and also compress your rib cage and make air go in and out. They don't have it. So they still have to breathe. With, they have little lungs that I'll try to show you. And to get air to go in those lungs, they will have to use their throat. Wow. And you know how you see those frogs moving their throats? Mm -hmm. And that's their breathing. They're pushing air in their lungs. Wow. That's what they're doing since they don't have a diaphragm. And we'll see the diaphragm on the big dissection very well. So here, I'm opening a pouch in which there's the heart. Look at this little heart. Wow, look at that little thing. That little heart Doesn't here. Doesn't look like a typical heart. <laughs> it's quite typical. It has a heart shape, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> With the ventricle here, uh -huh. the whiter part, and then the atria, the atria on top. Is the dark part? But it's a three-chambered heart. Okay. Our heart, how, uh, sorry. Our heart has four chambers. It has two atria and two ventricles. Mm -hmm. The frogs only have one ventricle and two atria. Okay. Yeah. So we see it here. And then if I move further down, I should see the little lungs. And it's to show you how their lungs are underdeveloped. And that's why they compensate with their skin to breathe. Oof, I'm making a bit of a mess. There's a lung. It's a very tiny structure, but you can see it reddish here. Yep. Yeah. So that's one lung. I'm going to try to find the other one. I'm not uh, too good at frog dissection. There's the other one. Ugh, get out. <laughs> can you see it? This one yep, here, absolutely. You it's got spongious. It. Yes. Yeah. So there's mm -hmm. one. Okay. Then what's that large organ we see oh, all over? It's gigantic. It's the yeah, largest it organ in the body. It has different parts to it. What is it? The liver. Liver? The liver is usually a big organ. Mm. It has many different functions and that's probably why it's so big. <laughs> wow. um, it's involved in digestion, storing um, glycogen, detoxifying the body, involved in the making bile That's right. To, for digestion again. And look at this big pouch Whoa. here. What's that? That's not the gallbladder, is it? It is. Whoa. Huge. That's where the bile is made or stored or the which one? bile is made by the liver okay. and then stored in the bladder, mm. the gallbladder. So the gallbladder is considered part of the liver. Okay. Yeah, it stores bile. I'm not going to poke it, otherwise we're going to have that greenish, yellow substance, which is bile coming out. Right. Then we see the stomach right here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Big stomach, too. J-shaped organ. Yeah. Wow. All the blood vessels also. Wow. And then it becomes the intestine. Okay. So I'm going to follow it here. The wiggly wow. intestine. <laughs> More pasta noodles. <laughs> and then you see it here, the last part of the intestine. Oops, it's larger. Oh, it, so the small intestines comes first? Yep, and okay. then the large one. Okay. So it's large because it's wider. Okay. And then it gets to the anus, which I didn't show you in the beginning, but the anus is in the back between the two legs here. Okay. Yeah. So I think we saw most of the important organs here. Um, Can you point out the fat bodies again, please? Ooh. Wow. Look they look like fingers. Yes, absolutely. All over. So energy storage. Yeah, that one that had lots of energy yes. <laughs> stored. Yep. So fat bodies, the heart with only three chambers, two atria, one ventricle, the lungs, one on each side. There's one here we can see very well. Can you uh, hold that out just one more time? Look at that. Wow, what a primitive little lung. <laughs> you said it was a bit spongy? Yeah, I can feel like, yeah. Okay. And then the liver. 
with this three, these three lobes here, the gallbladder here, the stomach, the intestine, small intestine first, and then we keep following it and it becomes, oops, the large intestine that will lead to the anus. Okay, excellent job, Professor Voza. Thanks. You get an A plus. Thank you.